Alrighty. On to the next episode. To the cowboy. Yes, back to the underground parking lot. Oh shit, the cough up queen might be here. Oh no, right. Uh, looks like the investigation is still going. I would hope so. Not I have sure no idea is. who this is. I'm assuming it's her boyfriend, but no. I have to be getting back to the shop. I'm going to assume the cough up queen. She's the only merchant person we know. Yeah. But if it's someone else, I might say go by, depending on who they are. Yeah, well, it's the cough up queen until we, you know, see them. So, I have to be getting back to the shop. This is her boyfriend, I think. Sorry, looks like I'll be stuck in this pit till the sun sleeps. Uh, I guess that's still him. I'll see you in my dreams tonight then, baby. No. I was right! <laughs> oh! Uh, I'm, I'm... Still here! Uh, hello? Why, why the surprised looks? Didn't I mention? I've got a boyfriend in the criminal's affairs, too. What happened to the security guard? <laughs> Wait, so she has... Oh. Actually, Phoenix makes a good point. Yes, hmm. But what if it's just by calling him a different title? That's true. I don't know. You can call him a security guard, but their official title may be crim like they're in criminal affairs as a security guard. It depends. I don't know the logic here. Hey, also, we have Marshall what? again. I know. Um. Need to do my southernness. Hey, I can't do it just on command. It sucks. <laughs> Howdy, partner. Hey, what's wrong, Bambina? I don't even. How deep was the voice when I did it originally? I forgot. A little deeper, but, but it's not really a big issue. Hey, what's wrong, Bambina? Yeah, that's, that's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking like a doggy that's lost a turd. Wait, what? Dogs don't have. Oh, wait, no, they do. Yeah, 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 her dog. This is yeah. Southern. Yeah, very Southern. Jake Marshall. Strange guy to put in charge of a crime scene. Yeah. And who cuts their beard like this? A cowboy, obviously. I also love the Western music. <laughs> I know, he's, he's best character. There's something I wanted to ask you. The scene of the crime. A cold grave for men who've lost their dreams. I can't do a southern accent anymore. I think this Pepsi's to blame. <laughs> and me? I watch over them as I sleep, dreaming of the desert tossed judgment. Oh. He's asleep. Wait, did he just. <laughs> um, should we show this hopeless case something to crack Catch's interest? I, you know what? I want to click on this. There's something I want to ask you! The scene of the crime. A cold... Oh, right. Stop this again. Okay. He's, he just falls asleep on set. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That's impressive. Would you mind reading this for me? What's this? I warn you. Fan letters go, to me go right into the spittoon. Oh, okay. It's a letter of introduction from Detective Gumshoe. May we investigate? Gumshoe? Ah, that old cow dog. Hmm. He's holding a birthday party or something? Huh? Look, where it should say letter of introduction, it says invitation. I think his accent changed again. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I think he just miswrote it. He is Gumshoe. Look, it is tough switching between multiple acts, like multiple voices, so it I can't is, keep it track. Is. Wait, why am I getting all defensive here? Just blunt, say it's Gumshoe's fault. <laughs> no worries, Podna. This proves it's from Detective Gumshoe. Better than a blood test. Guess I'd better let you in then. Thank you, Officer Marshall. <laughs> oh, that's right. He's a patrolman, not a detective. <laughs> Which reminds me. <laughs> hey, wait a sec. Isn't the crime scene supposed to be handled by Detective I? Well, folks, the clues are calling. 
Welcome to our gold strike. Be like the settler. Strike out for lands unknown. Manifest destiny. Let's have a hootenanny. Oh my god! This guy. <laughs> Note to self, police investigators are like settling land. <laughs> uh -huh. No, they aren't. Well, Mr. Mike, what do you say? I need a drink. <laughs> <laughs> I say I won't be needing this anymore. Detective Gumshoe's letter of invitation crumpled and discarded. I have to make it Detective Gumshoe like. Well, right, okay, cool. I guess we can go investigate. We can, but I'm curious. Officer Marshall, could you tell us more about the victim? Good men always die young. Remember that, partner. Uh, could you be a little more specific? Bruce Goodman. He was a detective, right? He was a good man, yeah. Well, well. Aren't you a feisty doggy there now? Detective Goodman was stabbed here at 5.15. The sli smiling Madonna told me the tale. Oh, he listened to the coughing queen. You know, you know what's annoying me? Is how they're telling time. They're switching between 24 hours and 12 hours. Yeah, they switch every now and then, which is weird. I mean, that's a very American thing to do. I'm just... I suppose. It, it's just weird. Like, Marshall here is like your standard American. It happened at 5.15 p.m. But the ticket said 17.12, which is 5.12. Yeah. But most Americans can't read that, so this is anime land. Well, yeah, obviously. In America. <laughs> I think he means the witness, Miss Angel Star. One stab to the chest, a fine piece of work. I, I thought it was in the... I thought it was in the um, abdomen. You can count that whole thing as the chest. Yeah, but he also said it was a fine piece of work. She said it was clumsy. Yeah, well, he's an officer who thinks he's a cowboy. That's true. And Miss Angel Star is a lunch lady, so I don't know who to believe. This that here is, is the autopsy report. This is all that matters, really. Death due to loss of blood, one knife wound, died within an hour and a half of 4 p.m. Oh, oh, God. Wait okay. a second. How they worded that is weird. Yeah. Died within an hour and a half of 4 p.m. That is very specific. His, but his official date of death, his time of death should be around 5.15 or beyond. She did say it was slow death. Yes, but this is giving 15 minutes for a single yeah. stab wound to have someone bleed out with a knife. Yeah. I don't know where that stab wound was and I don't know how fast that would bleed out. But with one stab wound and death of loss of blood, I would say, personally, I would say about an hour's time to bleed out. So, he died, quote-unquote, after 5.15, because he was stabbed at 5.15. Hmm, this could be This specifically intriguing. says, within an hour and a half of 4 p.m. Yeah. So, that means he died between 2.30 and 5.30. That's make, this makes this very compli complicated. I but think yeah, a single stab wound. I think that we're overthinking it. They wouldn't have given that. But Was my sister involved with the victim in any way? Funny you should mention that, Bambina. They were having a nice dinner. Edgeworth got jealous. And then <laughs> Edgeworth got her to stab him. It's amazing, Bambina. Do, do you know how dangerous it is to shave yourself with a knife like that? Do you know I'm a Texan? Oh, you're from West LA. <laughs> I'm a Texan. Shut your mouth. <laughs> Chief Prosecutor Sky and Detective Goodman have nothing in common at all. Thanks. Nothing in common? They apparently worked together on a case a few years back. So, there's no motive. 
Goodman wasn't a particularly gifted detective. That's one reason why he didn't do much work with the chief prosecutor. But my sister called a victim here on the day of the murder, right? Here to this parking lot? So it seems, like calling an unarmed man to a shootout at high noon. <laughs> now I'm just thinking of Overwatch. It's high noon. Yeah, obviously everyone is in that when they see that now. <laughs> I'd like to point out that he did it first, prior to Overwatch. <laughs> I think the Wild West did the high noon stuff first, though. Game-wise, shush. Ah, right. Um, I don't mean any offense, but Officer Marshall, you're a patrolman, right? Not a detective. You call me out? They shoot you for that in Texas. <laughs> huh? I was one of them fancy shoe detectives till two years ago, to tell you the truth. Oh, really? Now he tells me. But you're a patrolman now, so how can you be in charge of a crime scene? It's called corruption, little lassie. Probably. Ba Bambina. Ba ba was it like... Did he it's say something like that? It's Bambina, but also lassie I would probably work. I don't yeah, know if that's I cowboy don't. enough, but it is southern, I'm fairly sure. Nothing gets by you, does it, Bambina? So why are you in charge? No reason. We're just short on hands right now. I'm keeping an eye out in the meantime. Short on hand, you have a lot of detectives you could utilize. Well, one of those detectives is Detective Gumshoe. And I wouldn't trust him within five feet of a trailer park. <laughs> I don't know what I was saying or going with there, but... That's odd, though. Detective Gumshoe was saying he had nothing to do. Nothing important, at least. Then he needs a pay deduction. He's nothing but a sad old cow dog that can't find his tail. Maybe it's because he runs with that Edgeworth, eh? So he's Canadian. He's a Texan Canadian cowboy. Well, technically, the air thing is also a thing the Wild West. Shh! Quiet, you. Edgeworth. That cow dog's been kicked out of this cattle run by order of the chief of police. Just, he don't realize it yet. Detective Gumshoe kicked out of the investigation? Wow, okay. I'll be honest, he probably does realize it. He just doesn't care. Alright, I'm gonna look at this. Right. This looks like a cell phone. I thought it was a camcoder. Scientific analysis would suggest this belonged to the victim. I'm gonna punch you, Emma. Can we get Maya back, please? Yeah, yeah. At least I get to I like hear about food and the steel samurai and stuff with her. I'm kind of sick of the scientific analysis bullshit. I can't think of anyone else it, would be lo it could belong to. Uh, what's so t scientific about that? Uh, should we check it out? Right. Let's check it out. Okay, well, that's. I'm not doing that! My computer is oh, possessed! <laughs> oh, okay. Aha! Volume button. Oh, that oh, opens it, it? It's a flip phone. Hmm, this phone's still on the re radial screen. Redial. Redial screen, my bad. There's a screen for that? Uh, it's been so I long guess. since I had a flip phone or yeah, seen like, this one is or interacted so old. with one. This is such an old phone. Redial? Um, Mr. Wright? Most phones keep a record of all calls you've made and received. Yeah, I'm looking at my phone right now with all of my calls I've gotten in like the past year, so. You just press the blue button to display the last number you called. I don't have a blue button. Convenient, isn't it? I'm surprised you didn't know about that. I'm not. Phoenix can't drive. He probably doesn't know how the computer works. He's being taught by a 16 year old. Ugh, kids these days. Yeah, Stupid millennials. What, yeah, you do know the next next generation of kids are going to be smarter than us when it comes to all this stuff pretty soon. Not necessarily. I've actually met some, like, younger than me, so they're part of the next generation because I'm the youngest of my generation. Yay for being a millennial, I suppose. Yay. <laughs> but they don't necessarily know the more intricate stuff. 
Oh, they really? know how to work things to make them work. But they don't understand the how or how to fix it, necessarily. Good, we're approaching the Adeptus Mechanicus level, then. I mean, that's actually pretty standard. Like, I've dealt with adults that are the same way, too. Like, people older than me that, Hey, I know how to work this computer. Oh, uh, what happened here? I don't know what to do. <laughs> it's like, you hit the wrong button. <laughs> like a two-second fix. No. Sorry to disappoint you, but even I know about things like Redial. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, Phoenix, I'm honestly impressed. It's just, you never know what people from your generation... <laughs> <laughs> I'm like 24, Emma. So Phoenix must be one of the younger ones in his generation, because Emma's the only... 16, 15. 15, 16. Well, the game says 16. Probably because it just didn't do 15 and a half or whatever. Or whatever. Let's check this phone out. What a nifty little flop phone. Okay, I hate this feature. I hate it with a passion. Man, what a boring strap. Uh, what's wrong with it? Everyone has different tastes, you know? Here, check out mine! It's a pink princess strap! Oh no. <laughs> ah, great. Salmonella's back on the case. I don't want to deal with him. <laughs> These are hard to come by, you know? At least show us the strap. I see the series is as popular as ever with the kids. Seriously, you didn't even show us the strap game. I am disappointed. I think this is the only other thing. I think so. Now to see who the owner of this phone called last. Note to self, a defense attorney doesn't think first, he just pushes the button. I agree. Beep. Well, that's an intriguing ringtone. I think it's still Samurai. Yeah, that, that's still Samurai, I'm pretty sure it is. Hey! Hey, that's Sun! I hey. know that! Oh, that's you. Hmm, who's this? Hey, that song! I know that! It's Steel Samurai! Hey, what's going on over there? I'm a cowboy! We don't like samurais! <laughs> Beep. Ah, oh, uh, sorry. I just pushed a button. I see you, partner. You pressed redial on that there phone, didn't you? Uh, yeah, it was on the floor and I wanted to push a button. Whose phone is this anyway? It was on the ground over there. Whose is it? That belongs to Chief Prosecutor Sky. Oh. What? It's my sister's? She apparently dropped it when she was taken into custody right after the crime. And you put your grubby little mitts on it. You're under arrest. Look, the last call was made right when the murder occurred. Looks like she was fixing to call someone. Except, she only spoke for a few seconds, according to this. Who did she call? No idea. Sorry, partner. Now, I got a question for you, partner. I heard a phone ring just now. One of those new fangled ringtones. Uh, oh, wait, nope. I don't have to redo that. I heard a phone ring just now. One of those new fangled ring tunes. Ooh. <laughs> oh, that. Oh. I'm sorry, that was my phone. Was it? I don't. I think he's just trying to uh, misdirect them. What? Y your phone? That was a fucking worst. Uh, yeah, uh, it's kind of strange, but. Someone called me right as we picked up the other phone. A wrong number. You're lying to me, partner. But I don't get paid enough for this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're not lying. They shoot you for that in Texas, partner. <laughs> okay, I gotta ask. Do they not shoot you for something in Texas? Uh, from the clips I've seen, they shoot you for a lot of stuff in Texas. 
Uh oh, I'm inside the wrath of the Lone Star Policeman. <laughs> Lone Star Policeman, that's actually a really good one. Wait Minute a second. 518. Fascinating. This rope, is it? Yep. They laid it in the outline of the victim's body. So wait. The victim must have died when the killer closed the trunk on him. You have got to be the only person I know that would come to that conclusion. Yeah, because... Yeah, that would not be the way they would have died. This appears to be the car where the body was found. It looks like the lock on the trunk is busted. Okay, oh. that's how the trunk was opened. Yeah, so they busted it, okay. The crime took place in the underground parking lot at the prosecutor's office. The body was found in the trunk of my subordinate's car. Quite a luxury car. It just screams I have money to burn. Yeah, prosecutors get the big bucks. And defense lawyers don't, you have helped quite a few rich people, including one prosecutor. Yeah, true. Hmm, let's see if there's much else over here. Ooh. A block. This is to serve for prosecutors. Defense attorneys are regula regula relegated to B block. Well, shit, that's rude. I came the day when I will be able to park my car here. Wait a second, Phoenix. Why do you care? You don't drive. Yeah, like I go to B block to buy my hamburgers from you, Mister Wright. What? <laughs> I think he's uh, making like B like as a joke for a burger chain or something. Ah, <sighs> Miss Maya. I'm not planning on giving up my job that soon. Hmm, that's not much. Oh, that's truck there. B block. B block is through there. That's where visitors park. Oh, it's for visitors. I can see the lunch land car over there. Far in the distance. Hey, you're right. I like the cute design on the door. I can see a cartoon cow munching down on a juicy looking steak. Doesn't that strike you as a little creepy? Not really. Just don't think too deeply about it and you'll be fine. Welcome to America, Emma. Yeah, it's the whole, I guess, the cow eating it on the cow that probably seems a little bit off, you know? Mm, there doesn't seem to be much else here. Let's talk about Lana Sky. So there's no connection between Detective Goodman and my sister. That's correct, but there's a gold mine of evidence against her. They gasp. And the prospector tomorrow is none other than Edgeworth himself. Why do you call the prospectors? Because I'm a sheriff and a Texan, you dumbass. <laughs> I'm afraid your sister's fate is decided, Bambina. Many condolences. Except, her sister has the undefeated Phoenix Wright! Well, and he's had four cases. So <laughs> Officer Marshall! Yeah, Bambina? How can you say that? You and my sister, you were... Is there something between this cop and her sister that I don't know about? I apologize, Bambina. Something must have gotten to me. Maybe it's the dry wind that's a blowing through the prospector's office. I need to quench my thirst <laughs> with this alcohol that I carry on me. At all times. Dry wind or ill will? Someone's up to something here, but who? How much you want to bet it's just like water or something? And he it's just like checked water. Every single day that he comes in <laughs> to make sure he's not actually drinking on the job. <laughs> he just does it for I've appearances. Actually, I've actually always wanted to own one of those, you know, field canteens like that and just go around drinking that because people think you're drinking some kind of alcohol. <laughs> yeah, it'd be hilarious. Like, just pour a pop in it or something and just drink from that. Yeah. Office atmosphere, oh. what? 
suspicions about Mr. Edgeworth have been flying around for nearly two years now. Forged evidence and arranging testimonies, you mean? He was unbeatable because he did whatever it took to win. Until you beat him, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Unbeatable, that is. Until he met you. Yeah, it, they, they, uh, that will be going to say. But rumors are just rumors, aren't they? I'm sorry, Bambina, but no. Don't, these are prosecutors we're talking about. Evidence is everything to them. Emma, you naive girl. If you follow the rumors about Edgeworth to the source, you find one person. But they're off limits. Untouchable, you might say. One person? Who? Hate to say this, but it's your sister, Bambina. Chief Prosecutor Lana Sky. What? My sister? Edgeworth couldn't rustle all those cattle by himself. Some people load their guns with bullets. Some people load them with deals. What? You're saying Edgeworth was making deals to win trials? Yes! I think we figured this plot cases. out, Phoenix. Yeah, in some cases he most certainly was. Where there's gunshots, there's bound to be bullets. That's what the old timers say. There's a big old secret hidden around here somewhere. Everyone knows it. Is that why Detective Gumshoe was taken off the case? Did they target him because he was closest to Edgeworth? Hmm. Probably. I have a feeling we have to go to the... I have a feeling that I have to go to the High Prosecutor's office. Oh, but... Yeah, I want to redial. I want to test something. Let's see. Goodman, he was 36. Between... Oh, so... He, his time of death, so it's not 2.30, so I just read how it was said wrong. So between right, okay. 4 o'clock and 5.30, he died. Cause of death, cause loss of blood. blood from chest wound. A 4.5-inch okay. knife. Hmm. Uh, I'd say that's a decent knife. Yeah. But to Watch cause it. that kind of blood loss, you have to hit yeah, something is. vital to kill him yeah. within 15 minutes. Not in a single stab, no less. Like, yeah, for all we know, it could have hit something very important. It could have hit the stomach. If it hits the stomach, that's pretty much you're dead. Alright, we've already done this. I feel we have to check with uh, Edgeworth. Edgeworth? Yeah. Oh, oh I'd love here? to. But yeah, he ain't here. Huh. Lana I think I need to show man. him anything. Hmm. I could literally just throw this at him. I suppose, it's worth a try. 5 12 p.m. The prospector's bright red steed came in like a trot. Or came in at a trot, real slow like. At trot? Oh, that's right. He didn't come in at 5 15. He came in at 5 12. So he, there was nope. plenty of time for him to leave, but to break a lock on a trunk, though. Huh. Yeah, that, that was to take quite a lot of stuff. My Madonna tells me the crime occurred three minutes later. So it seems the chief prosecutor, uh, chief prospector was lying in wait. Maybe, waiting for her prince to ride in on his bright red horse. Huh. So what you mean is, the killer intended to use Edgeworth's car all along? But the knife was in the trunk. In Edgeworth's toolbox inside the trunk. All right, compadre, count to three. Huh? You gotta do that if you're going to draw evidence on someone. Damn it. Well, that's what we do in Texas. If you don't, oh my God. you get shot. Oh Dude, my remind God. me to never, oh, remind me to never visit Texas. Yep. All right, let's see if he does that again. Yeah, that's what I thought. Come 
We have to share equipment's ID. What's that? Some sort of police passport? Uh, this is Detective Goodman's ID card. Strangely enough, Detective Gumshoe did not take it from me. We found it a good distance away from the crime scene. Don't you worry. Good, good distance in this rat hole? If you want distance, get yourself to Texas. Oh my god, they just stopped mentioning Texas already. Quiet, Bambina. Texas? This is a tiny little crime scene in a tiny little town with tiny little evidence. What difference does a few yards make, compadre? Note to self, if you encounter suspicious evidence, think of Texas. Oh my god. There's no better way to study than to hang out with the pros. <laughs> so I don't think there's really anything else to show him. I don't think so either. So, we'll return next episode. Oh boy.